Uh huh. What? Did you check the room? Have you got everything? Yeah. You've got me down myself now. Yeah. Check your side. Yeah, folks, this happens all the time. Look. <laughs> She's got to go back to the room now. I've just said to her, if we checked everything. She couldn't remember. <laughs> This happens when we leave the house as well, folks. When we walk out to the car, we have to say to each other, did you lock the front door? We end up getting out of the car and checking the front door. And we have, to, we have locked it. Well? I can remember everything. You had, but yeah. you didn't know though, did you? No, because you made me doubt myself. No, you? shall. It's like when you say, have you locked the door? I've just told her that. Yeah. But we doubt ourselves, don't we? Right, so we're at Stratford Station at the moment. You can get the overground, underground. Elizabeth Line and the DLR from here. So Sharon's just checking to see what route we need to get to go to um, Kennington. And the thing is, with the app she's got on her phone, it tells you exactly what train to get next. So, what's that app called, Sharon? Google Maps. Oh, it's Google Maps she goes on. There you go. There. So if you're ever lost in London or you need to find your way about and you've never been there before and you don't know what links and transport, it tells you all on the Google, Google Maps link exactly where to get on, what platform to go to and all that, so there you go. It's made easy nowadays. Before you used to have to look out for signs on the wall, but uh, it's not like that anymore. It's the 21st century. So you choose your start destination, you choose your end result. And it gives you the time now of all trains. And when what they're leaving and what they're leaving, so, uh, and we'll it's in, there. there you go, and it even gives you the map as well. So there's our little step-by-step -step guide. Go back to the step-by-step -step guide, yeah? There you see, all the way it tells you where you've got to go. It tells you it's not too crowded. Nine yep. stops. And it tells you exactly where to go. And that is the Google Maps app. When you're in and about London. Or anywhere, I suppose. Yeah. Get yourself an Oyster card as well, folks. Charge it up by a machine. That way you're just in and out by touching the sensors. For those who don't know what an Oyster card is. An Oyster card costs £5 pound to buy first time. Right, so you buy one and first of all. top it up. Let's have a look at them. you still got my one? No, so you've got yours. All oh, right. Well, that's the Oyster card, folks. And you put it in a machine, charge it up, put some money on it. And then when you go through the ticket barriers, you just touch it and uh, the money comes off the card automatically. It's going to change now because I've missed that train. Right. So our first stop is the Jubilee line. We've got to go inside this station, find the Jubilee line. And we're staying there for nine stops, folks. The Waterloo. So in we go. you got on your card folks when you wave it in front there you go I've got 10 pounds left look so now we're in and the Jubilee line is straight up So this is the uh, old part of London as you can see there, there's Tower Bridge there and just over there we've got uh, the Tower of London which is over there and there you've got the thing that looks like a mobile phone apparently, the old mobile phones with a whole new myriad of uh, new style buildings there. It's sort of old city of London mixed with new city of London and uh, we haven't been down here for years so we haven't seen all this for years and years yet have we? Well definitely all that new stuff that's been built there. All I want to do is go in the old bit. Of course you do. We've got entry to the Traitor's Gate there, straight in front. Traitor's Gate. Yeah, that's uh, entrance in the middle of uh, the Tower of London there, folks. It's called Traitor's Gate. And that's where they used to take the prisoners into the tower before they was beheaded, Sharon. So we're just walking along the uh, towpath now. And uh, 
just enjoying the new buildings here. Don't seem to be built with bricks anymore, shall It's all mostly glass panels now, isn't it? Yeah. All the uh, buildings you can see here. Scoop there. Hey? The scoop, whatever the scoop. Yeah, there's this thing. I don't know what that is, folks. Look, the scoop. But I remember walking back along the towpath, along here, back in sort of the 1970s, for example, and uh, it was nothing like this. All been regenerated, isn't it? So that is uh, HMS Belfast there, folks. And... Uh, Never been on it. I don't know if you can go on it. I suppose you can do, Sharon. I think you can do tri uh, little excursions on it, Sharon, can't you? Let's have a look around it. London's warship experience. Yeah. So if you look at them signs, folks, you can actually see where and when it had served in all its years as an active uh, destroyer, I suppose. There you go. Just looking at the prices to go in. Adult is £27. Pounds. £27 pounds for an adult Child to go in. 5 to 15 is £13.50. Concessions for senior citizens at 65 plus is £24.30. There you go. It's low, doesn't it? So apparently, it's got nine decks apparently, folks, and the uh, a little look down at there gives you an idea of what you may be looking at if you do visit the ship. Twenty-seven pounds. Twenty-seven pounds. Right, so we're under the end of Tower Bridge now, folks. And uh, have a little walk through here. Is that a way up here? Must be the way up to road level, street level, I would imagine, folks, so we can up here. So we're now coming up to street level. And here we are, just entering the bridge. There you go. The bridge master's dining room used to be in there. <laughs> This way over here, that's where you've got, what's that called? Canary Wharf. That's Canary Wharf over there, folks. Is that an old brewery house down there? And that's where the the uh, breweries must have um, get their stuff off of the river from the barges or boats coming up on the river to fill up the shops or the ale houses from many, many moons ago. Coming up to the central towers of the bridge now, where it would open. Well, that's not going to happen today, Sharon, is it? It's the Birkin. Yep, that's the other part of London, what we just seen, with the uh, funny shaped buildings, including the Gherkin. But if you can just see there, Sharon, look. That's the original building there, folks. Look at that, look. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Amazing, isn't it? Just standing over here. Well, there's people up there. Yeah. You can actually pay for the walk, I think, to go up there and actually walk all the way along there. But we just give you a bit of a, a nearer experience of the bridge itself. And obviously the big pillars that it's uh, sitting on. Here's your cab. There's the Uber boats now. And, uh, yeah, this is a new London. Hello, Hello, mate. <laughs> what, nothing? Well, I have. So you're not having There you go. Looking at the brand new skyline now, which has been created amongst the Tower of London, which is just there. We just come past Fenchurch Street Station, folks, and uh, we're headed towards the Gherkin, which is right in front of us, but not so much traffic as there used to be. No, no, from no like the 70s and 80s when we were uh, driving around London. As you can see there, lots of motorcycle spaces. And uh, we also see the cycle lanes which are prevalent in London now. Electric bikes where you can uh, hire them. And also, which I've never seen before, electric scooters. 
Yeah, I look scooter and cycle hire there. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I didn't know you could do that with scooters, Sharon. Yeah, this is Gherkin right in front of us, folks. And it's a mixture of old, as you can see here, and the new creating the backdrop to the old buildings. What looks nicer? That looks nice. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot more work gone into the old style buildings, and to do reproduce this now in today's modern times, you couldn't do it. Is it better? I don't know. Who knows? But uh, so we just come over Tower Bridge, and it's quite full of tourists. I mean, that's what they see the old Tower Bridge as part of historic London. Maybe in 50 years' time, the Gherkin will be a historic piece of equipment, uh, an historic landmark. Who knows? So we're just on Lloyd's Avenue at the moment, and as you can see, the main streets there's really not a lot of traffic, folks. When you look up, it makes you dizzy. And can you see that glass panel up there? Look, just hanging from that large cr crane there. Look at that, look. That's coming down to be put into place on one of these new buildings. There you go. Yeah, what is it? Lloyd's Registry of Shipping. Oh, I mean, look at that, look. Look at that, folks. How about that for work? There you go. Yeah. Well, that's a better window than them windows. Of course it is. So we're actually on Fenchurch Street at the moment, and if we just spin around, we're straight in here, a, another modern building here. I don't know what this is. Lift coming down. Yeah. Lifts on the outside. Look at that. Look. And the one tree left. Yeah. Another tree there. Yeah. I don't know how long they've been there. They might have been original trees. Look at them. They just built around them, I would imagine. I can't see that being uh, planted within the last sort of 20 years. Look at that, look. The modern art there. Probably uh, mimicking a boat. Probably something to do with the maritime shipping thing next door, Sharon, maybe. Yeah, loads of little nooks and crannies, folks. And we don't know what half of these buildings are. We've not been here before. Been to Fenchurch Street before, but... Uh, Thing I've realised, Sharon, that? is that walking amongst these tall buildings, how dark it is. Yeah. There's no natural street light, folks. You probably can't see that on the camera, but amongst this metropolis of uh, closeness of these tall buildings, it's really dark. Right, we're now at the foot of that big building which we thought was designed like, like a telephone. Yeah. Here, look at this, folks. It sort of defies gravity. Look, come out. And then it comes out to the top, look. And then it goes back in again. Look at that, look. Unbelievable, isn't it? So what, what have you just spotted? Amazon Fresh, I've never heard of it before. Yeah, folks, look at that, look. Amazon Fresh. Looks like some sort of food store. Didn't know that was into that as well. Yeah, just opposite there. This whole piece of building here, which looks like an old original piece, because it says up there, Sharon, if I just zoom in a bit. There we go. Um, that was built in 1898 and it's been sandwiched between two newer buildings here. Look at that, look. Amazing. And again, folks, look. Empty roads, look. Mostly for public transport and also bikes, look. This isn't the London I knew. Let's have a look in there, look. Yeah, there's that Amazon Fresh, folks, look. There you go. Who would have thought it? You see it here first, Amazon Fresh. And yet again, new London I would say there maybe. Built right next to old London there. And right above it as well, you can see brand new building going up there as well, look. Amazing, isn't it? 
and all this all these buildings it's not to house people it's for corporations there you go yeah what's that called Leadenhall Market that folks look you can just imagine old barrows being pushed down there in the 1800s or whatever and early 1900s there goes a skip folks look right up the top of that building just to see where the top of the crane is look you can't see it right up there look hanging over the top look at that it's taking that skip up now look amazing absolutely amazing yeah so this is Fred Needle Street along here folks we just walked along now and just spin you around there's some old buildings here I don't quite know what they are but just behind they've squeezed that gherkin in look at that look hey everything around here is absolutely massive I don't know what this old building is here shall we? I mean I've traveled London but I don't recognize any of this so you've got that and yet again just squeezed in the background there is the uh, gherkin let's walk down here shall we? look at these buildings folks look at this look look unbelievable look at that look huh. and as I say at ground level it's dark here I don't actually know what that is Sharon the uh, the gherkin what it, what it represents I think there is a restaurant up there somewhere yeah like all these big buildings that we've seen I don't know what they are are they office space they're definitely not living space I know that much hey the Viva Insurance, well that's a massive company isn't it? Yeah, there you go. And that old church there as you can see, that would be original footings under there and they've dug down right next to it to an underground car park here look. It goes right under the church and them old buildings there look. So they would have all had to have been underpinned Sharon. Don't mean a thing to hey? me. Don't mean a thing to me. Nah. Hair well pin. supported. I know, hairpin. Yeah. There you go. Right, we're back in uh, King's Cross Station and I want you to try one of these burgers behind me, folks. There we go, it's called Leon. We did see these the last time. They seem to have quite a nice selection of burgers in there. I'm going to try a chicken burger, I think. So uh, let's go in and get that. So that's what I've got, folks. Right, so Sharon's going to be trying out this. She did come in before and she totally enjoyed it. So that's the reason we're back. Well, they make it here fresh and then they... Uh, Box it all up ready for you to take. So you better get in a queue, shall Right, okay folks, so this is what I've got. You get these baked fries. Yeah, let's just tip them out first of all. Oh, hello. That didn't work too well, did it? So let's just put them on there. Like that. You see there's some sort of coating on them, look. Just have a close look at the uh, bun, char grilled chicken burger. Mm. Let's put them chips on there, I think. I made a right mess of this, Sharon. Look. look, we'll have a look at yours in a second, shall we? Right, so that's what we've got. The bun does come with. Uh, a layer of mayonnaise and sauce on it or whatever and it's a pure chicken bread and let's have a little closer look at what Sharon's got in there what is that Sharon? Uh, sweet chilli chicken yeah. yakisoba? yeah yakisoba right well mix it up what's he got rice in mixed there? Up. noodles and bits of bit of greenery yeah. go on then tell us what you think of that oh it's nice because I've had it before Yeah? Is that chilli rice, chilli chicken, uh, chilli beef? Noodles. Sweet chilli. Sweet chilli noodles. With a kick. Nice? Mm. So these have got some sort of chip spice on them. Yeah, normal chip spice. Have a little go at this. Looks like a brioche bun as well, folks.
much for sure about that. There's a taste I'm not used to in there. I don't know what it is. It might be the coating on the chicken actually. Let's try a bit of chicken at the end there. Yeah. What chicken did it say it was? I don't know, well just a chicken burger. Oh. But it's some sort of taste on that chicken burger, which I'm not really too keen on to be honest with you. I've I, see got to eat it, I see they've done jerk chicken, that's what made me think. Is it like some. It might be, it might be. Yeah, it's the flavouring on the chicken. It's not something I'm used to, folks, but um, you might like it. To me, I'm not all that keen on it to be honest with you. It's only just been cooked and yet it's only lukewarm, so I'm not too happy with it either. And the chips were actually cold. So before Sharon's calls off, I think I'll let her eat hers. Out of ten, four. That's all I'm prepared to go on that, I'm afraid. There you go. Wrong move again, Martin. No, well, no, I wanted to try that. It looked good from last time. And I can see the steam coming off of yours, actually, Sharon. I've just been putting the thing now. Yeah. I've just refilled them. So, you're happy with your one? Very, very happy. Out of ten? Nine. Nine? Happy days. Mm. I've got that to look forward to. Not very happy. Not very happy at all. Right, well, Sharon's just finishing hers off now, folks. Hers cost eight pounds, by the way. As I mentioned before, my mine was nine pound ninety-eight, and mine was horrible. Didn't like it at all, although I did eat it. So Sharon's just pulled up the app on her phone, and it looks like we're going to be able to upgrade to the uh, first class lounge. Lounge. So we can go and sit in comfort rather than sit up here. As we are doing at the moment now. So we, we're going to go and see if we can get that barcode scan and have a bit of luxury on the way home. Is that first class? Not on the train, now in the lounge, sitting area. Oh, okay. Oh well. Better than nothing, folks. Something for nothing, isn't it? I could have spoiled you, wouldn't you? Hey? I've spoiled you now on the way here. <laughs> so that's the first class lounge, folks. We just go in here. Let's see if we can get first class. Hey. We come straight back. Yeah, we come straight back down. You say no, that's not valid. <laughs> well, if it's on your app, we might as well give it a go. Because well, she uses that app all the time, folks. Whenever she books a ticket, she uses the app. Coffee and tea up there, shall by the looks of it. Look at that, look. Yeah. Well, we're in, folks, and uh, looks like our little ticket worked. And you get free tea and coffee by the looks of it, shall we? Hey? have a cold drink. Of course, you will. Sparkling. All free, look. Come on. Yeah, put one in the bag. I'll take one with me. I'm going to have an option first, you know. Yeah, we're gonna have a coffee down. No, I'm having a cold drink, I'm so hot. Where's your cup then? Oh, I don't want chocolate. Let's have an Americano. Two weeks ago, folks, what you've just seen there, we're now in Tesco's. We're not in Lidl because Lidl's been letting us down, shall not it? Yeah. Stuff we have regular, it's not been in there. So we're in Tesco's now, which is just across the road, and we've just seen these, look. And we don't normally have anything like this, but um, crispy creme, I think they're called. But look down here, look, you buy a box of them. 17 pounds for 12 of them, look. Unbelievable, isn't it? So we've got baby Frank with us today, Sharon. Yeah, Baba Frank. And your baby Frank, you out with Nanny and Granddad? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just having a little walk around, folks. 
and uh, we normally can't do too much filming in here folks for the simple reason being they play music and it's all copyrighted music so if I do film in here I'll have to talk over it. Yeah, we always have a little look at the uh, reduced section, folks. Sometimes you get something, a little bargain, for example. What have we got here? They're not a bargain. They're not a bargain, no, so we put them back. And that right, baby Frank? Put it back. Put it back. I was looking for the old liver sausage here, folks. <laughs> I, I, I must have been staring straight at it, Sharon. We like it in the tubes normally, don't we, Sharon? The liver sausage, yeah, but. Uh, the deli counter. I don't know yeah. why. Oh, don't they do the deli counter here no more then? It's like this now, stupid. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, you have to buy it all sort of cut and packaged up now, folks. We used to buy the big tubes of it, Sharon, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, liver sausage. Like that. with supermarket meat shower it all looks so uniform doesn't it everything looks the same doesn't it that's why uh, we like put really normally going to the butchers don't we yeah yeah it's all pretty much the same every every cuts the same folks that's a cheap one 275 yeah that's sort of a replacement for cod folks isn't it look bassa um you've had it before haven't you yeah it's not too bad is no, it it's nice but I'm a Haddock fan myself, but look at the price of uh, fish Haddock's ropes. I mean, it's just so dear for Haddock what, what? and Cod. And even the sea, well, sea bass is a dear fish anyway, isn't it? But look at that, look, the finest range, £5.60, look, skinless and boneless, two Cod loins, look. There you go. Prawns are a ridiculous price normally. Oh, i get some of that, look. You get your false prawn shell, don't you? Your crab sticks. <laughs> yeah, I love them. <laughs> See, well, they can't call them that anymore. They're seafood sticks, aren't they? Because there's no I crab in them, is there? There's none in there, Frank, is there? There's no crab in crab sticks. That's why they call them seafood sticks, isn't it? Yeah? What's that? That's reduced. Is it? How much is that? What's £5.40? £4.05. That's not too bad. That's quite a big... Uh... Oh, there's two fillets in there, Sharon. Should we get that or what? Is that one bigger? I don't know, what do you think? I can't see the sizes. I don't think it says the ones in big weight. It should say weight on there, shouldn't it? I don't know, does it? It will do somewhere. Um, get that one, Shadow. That feels heavy. Uh, uh, no, that, that one's lighter. Uh, uh, oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I'll put that one back. Yeah, look at the price of these, folks. Look, ready to eat prawns, look. £3.25, that, that little packet there, look. I love prawns, but they're just so dear. Well done. That's deceptive. You look at that packet, look, and you think it's full. When you turn it round, it's only half full. It's only full up to there, look. That's quite deceptive, isn't it? I mean, we normally get a strong, mature cheddar, Sharon, don't we? You get quite a big block of it normally, don't you? Extra mature, sorry, that's what we normally get. What's that one there? Well, it's extra mature there, look. That's not the big, is that the big one? I don't know. Yeah, how much is that? No, Five pounds, something, is it? No, because you've got the crab card, you've got it for that. So, yeah, you've got two prices there, folks. That's the normal price. And because Sharon's got the club card, you get that, so... Always look out for your, your discount prices. It's worth getting a club card. I mean, that's a big difference there, actually, isn't it? Yeah, so people get a club card if you don't cost one. anything to get one of them, shall does it? No. That's another good reason to come in here then. And we have realised that um, we spend roughly about the same amount in cash as what we did when we used to shop at Lidl. So that's the reason why, we, another reason why we come in. They seem to have everything else we want as well. So, well, well, and it's more choice. Oh, go on in, yeah, get a couple of them. We like them. There we go. 
a right. bargain. We like a coffee, folks, but uh, we just seen this. Look at this, look. Tin here. I like strong coffee. This is a uh, Costa coffee, which says intense dark roast. But the thing is, it's usually five pound fifty because you've got a club card. You get it for two ninety five. Yeah. But you pay more than that if you went and sat in there. If you went and had it. one coffee in Costa, it cost you that, shall it? More. I'd well, a lot more, more yeah. yeah. So we got a couple of them. But that's the benefit of having a club card, folks. Look at that. Look. Did you put this one in, Sharon? I've got two. Oh, right. I'll put that back. Yeah, not all coffee. As you can see, that coffee there, for example, that's six pound. That's the same sort of tin as that. So, uh, yeah, definitely worth looking. Yeah, look at that. Look, six fifty down to three fifty. Amazing. Three pound off. Look, and you'll find them deals all over the place in uh, Tesco's. Dobby's food hall it used to be Johnson's garden centre. I think they still got a garden centre, so we'll be walking through to there and we're gonna have something to eat in here, so come along with us. What's that, Frank? Uh, lights. Say lights. Uh, what is it? Uh, Say lights. Uh, yeah, lights. Uh, Alright, so that's baby Frank sat down. And uh, we're basically here for the fish and chips, aren't we? Mm. They do a breakfast menu and uh, a lunch right. menu. So that's what we're actually looking at. Because Sharon's been here once before and said the fish and chips was fantastic. Well, I didn't have it. It looked it. Yeah. They do a range of toasts and stuff. The main courses. That's what we're going for. The fish and chips uh, supper. Lightly coated haddock. No gluten batter. Thick cut chips. Garden or mushy peas. Two slices of bread and butter. And a pot of tea. That's £12.95. What's that one there then? What's the difference? I don't see the... Is it bread and butter in the pot of tea? I don't know. I can't see outside the... Oh, yeah, there's no bread, just, and, there's no bread and butter with that one, I think, Sharon. So I can't see tea either, so it's obviously cheaper to get that, isn't it? Right, yeah, so you might as well get the 12 pay for tea. Yeah. That way, folks, we are still low-carb, but we just have a little treat now and again. That's what we're doing today, Sharon, isn't it? Oh, yeah, got a treat. And baby Frank is going to have some of Nanny's, aren't you? Or is he going to have something off of the menu, baby? I think he's just stuffed a bit of Nanny's. Yeah, because you probably won't eat all yours anyway. No. And it's fish, he loves fish, so... Of course he does. Have you got your own phone, Frank? Hello? Yeah. Who's yeah, that? Yeah, a pot of tea is 2 so you're, be you're better again. off. Get, instead of 10 75 getting that for 12 95 because a pot of tea is 2 20 Right, so it's better to get the meal... Well, call it a meal deal, yeah. then, Sharon. and you're getting bread and butter as well, aren't you? Of course you are. The carbs. The yeah. carbs are carbs. coming this Yeah, way. we're having carbs today, folks. But we'll be doing a lot of running with Frank. What are you doing, Frank? Frank, are you alright with some carbs today? He's not he's not interested, Cher. He's on the phone. Of course he is. So let's have a look at what condiments we got here, folks. We've got a cool full complement by the looks of it. We've got original HP sauce. We've got original Heinz ketchup. Uh, traditionally original Sarsons vinegar and also Hellman's real mayonnaise. There is a couple of small sachets of uh, mustard and uh, salad cream in there. What's this here? That's sugar and also salt and pepper as well. So nice to see that they're in uh, big bottles as opposed to the little sachets. So uh, I'm happy with that. Our tea's just turned up, folks. We've got a little pot each. And uh, what are you doing, baby Frank? Got your own drink now, aren't you? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So we've got our little. Can I have your spoon? I haven't got a spoon. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Give that a bit of a stir up. And we'll leave the tea bag in that and just let that brew for a bit. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Little cup. Probably get two cups out of that, maybe. And complimentary cold drink for me. I, I like hot and cold drinks when I'm uh, eating. Nice colour tea, Sharon. Mm. Oh, there's loads in there still. It's half full, Sharon. No, but I had tea last time. It was nice. Hey? I had tea here last time. It was nice. Mm. The old mate, Kim. Nice cup of tea, baby. Lovely cup of tea. Have a go at that, see if it tastes alright. It might be burning my mouth. <laughs> well, it won't, it won't be that hot, I don't think, because we let it stand for a while. It's hot. Is it alright? <laughs> oh, it's here, Frank. <laughs> Eat your coat. Oh, it's just turned up, folks, and look at that for authenticity. It's actually on. Uh, whether it's a real newspaper, what I don't know, but uh, no. I, I don't think it is, is it? But it's traditional looking. Look at the size of that fish, look. Sharon's gone for the garden peas with her one. And you get the tartar sauce with it. And look at the size of them chips, look. Absolutely massive, look. So let's have a closer look. So we've just had our bread delivered, folks, and it's really nice, thick and soft. And it's not buttered. All separate. Frank's actually got a ham sandwich and also a box meal. And unbeknownst to us, when you buy one adult meal, the kids eat for free. So he's every got pan adult, a child eats every free. pan adult. Oh, that's fantastic! And so if you've got two kids here and there's two adults, you both get a, a free kids meal. Come on, in, baby. Let's see what it's like. Oh no, crunchy and fluffy. Let's try the uh, mushy peas. Good quality peas, nice bit of taste to that as well, folks. Just cut into this bit. Have a little look at that. This is haddock, I think, Sharon, isn't it? Is that in its mouth? I know, yeah. look at that, look at that, folks. Look. Num num. Fish boat. Try it with a bit of tartar sauce on it. Mm. Well, that is superb. We can eat this. Your we'll bread, your here. bread. That's granddad.
Very good. I've had more than enough, thank you very much. And it was lovely. Sharon couldn't eat it all. In fact, she didn't eat her peas. We give that to Frank. And it did just beat me too, folks. I couldn't finish the last few chips there, so... Uh, you look at it when it comes, you think, there's not a lot of chips there and that, but Them chips were massive, God. Sharon. Yeah. Filling, so filling. So, what would we rate that, Sharon? I'd give that better than some of the chip shops we've been to. I'd give yeah. that a good 9.5. Yeah, we've, had a, we've been to a few chip shops and the size of the chips are fantastic. The size of the fish was Not fantastic. Not greasy. You get tea with it, you've got two slices of good fresh bread with it, with uh, butter separately. The only thing I would say was that um, I would have preferred the bread to be either uncut or cut squarely so that you can make a proper sandwich out of it. And uh, maybe Frank it for free. And all in all, I can't fault it. If I was in for free enough. For a garden centre, for a garden centre food, and the the authentic touch of this uh, paper it's on there, which isn't really it's greaseproof paper basically, but it's designed like an old newspaper. That just adds to it. So yeah, I've got to give it. It's up there, nine point five easy, Sharon. Mm, not greasy. You found this. We're coming again. Yeah. That's what he likes. Show him the old fish. Look at them, folks. Yellow mollies. Look how colourful they are. It was more interesting than running water. Of course he was. Look at these folks, look. Fish. We, yeah, we, we used to keep tropical fish, didn't we? Mm. Forget all their names now. These were mollies, weren't they? All well, their names are there. Oh, are they? Oh, of course they are. Look at these folks. Well, these are the fighters, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. Look at them up there. Look at these pretties. Look at that. These are Nanny's favourite, the guppies. Guppies. Colours of them. Yeah. Look at that, Frank. Yeah, look at him. Leo. Here, nip your fingers. He will, Frank. He'll nip your fingers, mate. There you go. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's that, Frank? Is that Peter Rabbit? Is that the rabbit? Look at that one. He's playing, look. Oh. Is that a rabbit, Frank? What is it? He's a big rabbit. What is it? Yeah, it's a rabbit, look. Right, so we love garden centres, shall we? I love a garden centre. So we're just going to have a little walk around here, folks, and uh, we'll see you at home. I didn't see him in there. I hope you've enjoyed the journey so far. Right, we're back home now, folks, and as you can see, Sharon, you're doing a bit of DIY. Upcycling. Upcycling. This was our old hallway table, Which folks. Was all that colour. There, there was all that sort of horrible mahogany. wooden. Well, no, I think it's dark rose, dark, not dark oak. Rosewood. Oh, it's no, it's mahogany. Red is a sort of mahogany yeah. look, isn't it? But that's now going grey. And that bit on the top will be white, which will be done later today. Yeah. And the reason being is because we're actually doing some decorating now in the hallway. Let's just walk you through and see what we're up to. So coming through the kitchen, it was this old sort of um, wallpaper we had there, but uh, it's been very dark in here, folks. And if I could just turn you around, you probably can't see, I've got this light on here, but uh, we've got this paper which we put up there. It's going to be coated up. It's a sort of a, well, I don't know, lines, I suppose you'd call it, but we've done the ceiling as well there, all the coving's done there, all the skirting boards. We've got some new carpet to go down here. These doors have been glossed. That's the doors, which are now white. These were uh, wood coloured, if you remember rightly, but um, they've been done now, so they're waiting to go back on. We've got some new wall lights to go up there, new sockets on there, sort of a, a metal satin look, so that's what's going. That door's going to eventually be painted white as well. And yeah, so it's coming on. 
So then walls are going to be sort of a grey colour as well. So um, she wants grey and silver as the theme. So that's what we're going there. And it's actually nice to be out here for once, folks. And it's actually quite mild out. I think it was about 14 degrees. And as you can see, the uh, little... Are they crocuses? I think they're crocuses coming up there now. But uh, the garden's obviously winter worn at the moment. We've got all the leaves to clear away. And don't forget, we're going to be building over there, as you well know, this year. The rest of the log cabins are going to go along there. So, yeah, plenty to do. So, Dougal's going to be getting a haircut if the weather stays like this, isn't he, Shell? He's yeah. like a blinking raggy doll, isn't he? Look. Sit, time. Dougal, sit. Sit. Dougal, sit. Come here. Oh, he goes to mummy, look. Dougal, sit. High five. High five. High five. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> He's like a bundle of fluff, isn't he? Oh, I love him. And Merlin's out at the moment. Where is he? Out having a walk with Stacey. Yeah. Sorry, folks. We've had to come in because of the bleating wind noise and all that. So what's this you've got here? It's a little gift from Laura. And it says, hello, Sharon and Martin. Really enjoyed your last video. As shopping and food reviews are my favourite bits. And she's putting brackets. You do them so well. Thank you very much, Laura. I'm sure Sharon's going to make use of this. Here's a little thank you from me. Sorry it's only little, but it's sent with affection from Laura. I don't care, big or little, I appreciate every Thank you, every Laura. Gift. Thank you very much. Also, Absolutely have, fantastic. We appreciate every gift. Yeah, we do, actually. Anyway, we're going to leave those super chatters now to the end. We're going to put a little empty card up so you can see who else has sent us a little super chat or a cup of coffee, tip jar, sort of thing. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this video. This week, we're picking somebody up that's coming to stay with us for a few days. Tracy's dog. Little Polly. Polly from Cyprus. We're getting her delivered to Peterborough. We're going to pick her up and we're going to try and integrate them with our dogs, you know what Merlin's like, he's so playful and bouncy, he, he don't mix with other dogs very well at all. Well, we don't mix with dogs at all, does he? No, we keep him away. From so we're going to try and keep him here. If not, we have got a friend who will have him until we go up to visit Tracy on her birthday, sort of around a, a couple of weeks into March sort of thing. Anyway, we'll probably show some of that. So look out for little... Polly. Polly. Little Polly and her uncle. Yeah. You know, anyway, so thanks... For Polly. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to have a little binge watch if you like our videos. There is loads there, loads of different content. We've got the vlogs and also the cooking videos as well. Thank you very much. Don't forget to look out for the Kasori video this week as well. We're going to be doing a little uh, a six-month review on that show because we have been using that for six yeah. months, haven't we? Yes, and I use it every single day practically. Coming up on this channel. So thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye. Bye for now.